So just we're up early and we're leaving Julia Creek at what, 7 08. So that's the earliest um start we've had ever. Earliest start we've had for the trip. Um, yeah, did you put the top on your water bottle? No. Huh? Hang on, just wait. So we're uh, the reason I got up early is there's a lot of rain coming across from Mount Isa Way. So we're heading across the road to Kainuna and it's a single lane um, bitumen road, all sealed but single lane. And we just, I just didn't know what it would be like on the edges um, if, if that rain was coming across. If we waited another hour or so, we probably would have been in the thick of it, having a look at the size of the, the blip on the radar. So anyway, we're on, on our way anyway. Um, nice and early, it's 113 k's across to Kainuna and then we'll turn left and down, go down towards Winton but yeah, Julia Creek, what a spot it was good, good spot, caravan park was great the baths were fantastic, make sure you get in and do and those baths and, um, and if you go to a, the paper, it's like where you train if you uh, no, not the skate what? park, the it's called a bike riding safety. Road safety. Road safety. Yeah. Yeah. Roundabout. Pedestrian crossing. Yep, yeah. yeah, it was fantastic for the kids to take their scooters down there. And um, also, you get a token if you stay at the caravan park, you get a token for the local pool, which is heated. Not that it needs to be when it's 40 odd degrees okay. outside in September anyway. So, but um, yeah, anyway. Julia Creek is definitely a spot to, to check out on your trips out west. Get out and check out Outback Queensland. Um, if, you're, if you haven't done it already, make sure you do it. Support the people out there. Spend some money in the in the <laughs> stores. We spent a bit in the local, yes. local stores. But um, well, that's just how it goes. And, and get out there and do that for them. And that'll keep these guys going. Because even though it's raining, you look out here and it's pretty dry. It's pretty dusty. So, um, yeah. Julia Creek, check it out. So we're on to Winton now. That road across from Julia Creek, that Kainuna Road, Julia Creek to Kainuna Road is fantastic. Don't be worried about it if you've got a van on. Um, probably the first. It would have been soft on the edges if it yeah, well, needed to get out. And that's what I was worried about with the rain. It would have been really soft on the edges. And the first, the first probably 30 or 40 K of it is single lane and you would have had to get off the road for anyone we didn't see anyone in that time we only saw two a truck and a and a land cruiser ute and that was the only two we saw across the 110 k's but um yeah so don't be afraid of that road because once you get past that 40 k's most of it is two lane width there's no lines on it but it's definitely wide enough to stay on the road if both of you are coming at the same time so just went and got a coffee at Kainuna um and had a look around and now we're heading off to Winton. So it's about 150 k's from here to Winton. Should get into Winton just after, probably just after 10, 10.30, yeah. All right, cheers. Right, ah, eh? horses in the back. We're gonna go to the music. Is there fence another half of the caravan park? Oh, are you filming? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. So we are going to the music fence. The music fence in Winton. We got to Winton this morning about what ten o'clock? Ten. Up, up past ten. ten. There's a shower here. Um, there's a shower here. <laughs> That's for the last place we were at, mate. We're at the um. We're at the Tattersalls Hotel Caravan Park, straight across the road from the Tattersalls Hotel. Um, 30 bucks a night, staying here for three nights. We'll go see a few attractions while we're here. We've got a music okay. fence, Volsi Matilda Centre. If you haven't been to Winton, you better check out the dinosaurs. Yep, and that's what we're doing on the way out on Saturday. That was the only morning we could get, was Saturday morning. Um, so we're, we'll hook the van on, we'll be out there at 9 o'clock and we'll check the dinosaurs up out on our way. And you should but Winton is a bustling town at the moment because we didn't realise but the film festival is also on in town. It's like where you watch movies, lots of movies, 
So the Outback Splendid Film Festival, or the Vision Splendid Outback Film Festival is on. And a lot of people in town for that at the moment as well. So a busy little place. But a beautiful little town. Nice and green, isn't it? Up the, the, up the main street. street yeah. There's magic there up the nature street. Here at the musical fence in Winton. Let's go out to go on. Kids already left me for dead. I'll take them over there now and they can have a look around and show you what music they can play. Colton had a bit of a buster at the musical oh, fence again. again. So it'll be the third <laughs> buster for the trip. No. Mm -hmm. What was the second buster? Um, oh, he did his knee at the, or his leg at the elbow. Elbow. Oh, the bang his elbow at the <laughs> Julia Creek. Anyway. Raise his elbow and smooth. Yep. Yeah, this guy's a bit flat out. So, <laughs> what was your favourite part about the musical fence, Evelyn? Nice and loud so people can hear you, please. Mine was probably the drums. The drums? The drum kit? Yeah. Colton, what was your favourite part, mate? Drums. You like the drums too? What was your favourite part? Yeah, I like the drums. I like the fence though as well. I think the fence is cool. Ooh, it's a little bit bumpy. We um, use a lot of fuel coming over today from um, Julia Creek. We were pushing into a headwind, the, the, the ranger was struggling to pull 90 to 95 k's an hour, so we just sat on 90, we're using about 27 litres per 100 k, so just straight into a headwind the whole time. So, um, better get back and uh, put a bit of fuel in the tank, because we only got, what do we get? About 270 k's out of that tank, you usually get about 400, so it's a big difference. Make sure you're not leaving yourself too short with fuel if you're driving across these flats, because if you get a good strong headwind, you'll use the fuel, that's for sure. We are going to the... Bladensburg National Park, it's called. And what it is, is it... It's some... a national park. <laughs> it is a national park. <laughs> But it's also an old, um, old, old, yeah, station. I think a shearing station, actually. Um, and it's got a lot of historic uh, indigenous landmarks on it as well. Oh, that's cool. And some pretty cool scenery. Um, don't we, give it away. Don't give it away? <laughs> All right. So we'll take you for a run out there today and we'll explore it. And then hopefully come back in this afternoon and spend some time in Winton before we leave tomorrow morning on our way to the dinosaurs and into Africa.
Sheep numbers on the property in the 1950s they had 14,000, but the max was in 1919. This this shearing shed was built in 1925. Yeah, it is, isn't it? That that would have been probably the old um, engine that ran the shearing. Show you how to take it. In that. You can see all the um, fire lighters up there Ed, they used to put on there, so depending on whose wall it was, put that on the fire and paint it. You had your, your pens in here that you... Oh, middle of summer. But at least they had the win windows open. When they finished shearing the sheep, they used to push the sheep out. So this belt here, see this belt? It would go around that motor. And when that turns, and they all turn. And then the shears used to be on the end of these rails. And as soon as they press the button on the sheep. If you're Cameron Holm, you're a dickhead. I hate seeing people graffiti old places like this. It's a wreck it. It's too selfish. It's ridiculous. Case of red earth and shimmering white ghost gums, feel free to sign our visitors book. Have a look. Let's go. Quite heavy outdoor. Bladensburg property boundary, 1951. Yeah. All the animals you can see. So many old original artifacts, axe heads and grinding stones. Some put your hand through and touch it. Oh, cool. Actual hey kids. You put your hand through here and touch a real dinosaur bone. In here, look, it's a sauropod leg. And does it feel like a... Uh, it feels smooth. It's like a rock, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Can you try them up? Mm. 100 million yeah, years old, that bone. Collet snakes. Oh, there's, there's Julia Creek donuts that we didn't see there in the middle. Because in the office. Red kangaroos, big old. Trap the rabbit. You put your foot on it, and the rabbits put their feet on it, it snaps. They probably use them? that for dogs, I'd say. Dogs? Yeah, for dingo. This is the. Um, 
Is it gonna sell on sale? This is mine. Not looking at the main one. No. Too small. Well, there you go. There might be a sign out the front. There you go. It's for the homestead. Kitchen, maybe. Somewhere. Uh, and just in this one here. Yeah, this is this bookkeeper. The bookkeeper's office. Workers' quarters, I reckon. Yeah. Where they, this, this is where they yeah. used to live, and this was their bed. This is their where they used to sleep and stuff. Bathroom. Oh yeah, they got a bathroom. Bedroom. Where's the toilet? Oh, all the Neat, so. Obviously, the Rangers got some kids. See how it's all gauzed in? Why would that be? You reckon? Flies. Keep on the flies, yeah. Look at that for a butcher's block. And then a few things chopped on that. All the meat hooks hanging. And then the cold room out the back. Where you would have put your meat in once you've butchered it up, cut it up, quartered it up, let it hang. It's fairly new. <laughs> too, much. too much, but this is Scrammy George. Mm -hmm. I feel like it might be the only bakery in Winton. It's a good bakery. It's a good bakery. And um, just went and did a tour out of Bladensburg National Park. So went out to look out and it was really good. You should check it out when you're here. Probably give it's yourself, cool. what, we did it three hours it took us to have a look around and drive out there and drive back. So give yourself three to four hours and take it easy. Um, yeah. <laughs> Flies are starting to come out after the recent rain, so glad we're going tomorrow. Just as long as the sand flies aren't out at Longreach, we'll be fine. Yeah. 
we're going to go to the truck museum this afternoon, aren't we? Yeah. And um, dinosaurs in the morning on the way out. So. And check yeah. out the bakery. The bakery's good? Yeah. It is good. Good bakery. So this is the Winton Heritage Truck Museum. It is a fantastic place to come and have a look around. I think it's around $10 per person, uh, per adult, and kids are free. But you can spend quite a while here. The trucks are all really well presented. Um, I've actually taken some photos of some old ones that actually reminded me of certain things, but there are some really nice trucks in there. And if you're into trucks and machinery, this is the place to be. Uh, my grandfather used to be into... Well, when he was younger, he used to cut logs and manage sawmills. So he always talked about log trucks and different trucks and the old trucks and what they had and what they didn't have compared to nowadays. Uh, there's actually an old yellow blitz coming up in this shot uh, that is very similar to one of the ones that Grandpa used to have in the back paddock. Um, so it reminded me a lot of him going through here, and I'm sure that's the blitz there. And I'm sure that um, it'll remind you of, of different things as you go through a look through it as well. Right, hey, well, we're going dinosaur hunting this morning, aren't we, kids? Yep. Yay! Leaving Winton. Um, it's about half an hour to the dinosaurs, so. Mum hasn't seen them yet. No, no Mum hasn't seen them yet. So, kids have been before, but they're keen to go again. And uh, it's the first time for Mum. So. Packed up, ready to go, 8.20. Hopefully we we'll get out the dinosaurs in time to check in by 9. And 8.21. 8.21, thank you, Ev. It's amazing how you're in this sort of country and um, dry as anything, but all the fossils you're finding are sea creatures. You look at that landscape that was all once an ocean and the plateaus that sit above it, uh, little crops of land or short shorter reefy areas and these fossils are found all over all through the countryside around Winton. It's just unbelievable. Thirty seven. Alright, so we just had a look at the what was that called? The laboratory and waiting room. That's fantastic, Very cool. wasn't it? Yeah. They got all the dinosaur bones packed up in there, waiting to be uncovered. And volunteers. The volunteers go and chip away at them with these little Dremel looking drill things. <laughs> and we're just heading back up to the main area to do the next one at 10 o'clock. Make sure you get out here and do this. Uh, we won't show you too many photos and videos of this because I believe I need to scratch my caravan with that tree, but I also need to believe that you need to get out here and do it yourself. So don't just take everything that we've got um, to show you. Make sure you come and experience it because yeah, it's a great experience. West, please check out um, Definitely check out Winton, yep. Right, well that was an excellent experience. It's um they do a very good job, very professional. Can you grab that step? I'd love to. Thank you. Very professional with their um, presentations, their operations. 
We just grabbed a sandwich out of the van before we go. Now we're heading off to Ilfric home, pushing into our... Don't leave your GoPros on the dash. They get really hot and they don't record. So we're just leaving Ilfric home now. Cheers. That'll be pretty.